Hey, I saw you on Tinder, but we didn't match, so I found your Instagram. You're so beautiful. You don't need to wear all that makeup. <laughs> I bet you get a lot of creepy DMs, but I'm not like all those other guys. Message me back, beautiful. By the way, what's your snap? I'm a nice guy. I'll treat you right. <laughs> I'm the Romeo to your Juliet. Why aren't you responding to me? But trust me, I'm not like all the other guys. If you ever hear somebody say that, don't trust them. Some more gentlemen. You know, just the guys that will treat you right and do everything for you and be the man of your dreams. Yeah, nah, not those guys. They're actual nice guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing amazing. Here we have an Ask Reddit. Women, what's the least attractive quality in a man that they usually think is attractive? Being a nice guy. Oh, yeah, well, enjoy being... Oh. Oh, beaten and cheated on. Oh, yeah, you're a nice guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, they're not even trying. That's so bad, but also funny at the same time. But obviously, don't ever say that. But funny in the way that they probably think that they're a nice guy. Unbelievable. It be like that sometimes. Me, a guy who respects women and is smart. The guy that is the complete opposite. Females. Yeah, you guys know exactly what I'm gonna say. You don't listen to guys who call women females. Okay, so this one is a response to an Instagram story on some tattoos. Why would you mutilate your body like this? You don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. Your face and body are an 11 out of 10. However, your tattoos make me upset because without them, you would be perfect. Be arch. Oh my god. Women like you never pick nice men. This is why you know what statistics are so high. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Like even more than icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. That's terrifying. Which makes me think of the merch idea from the last video where one of you guys said that you need a t-shirt that says terrifying but fun. That basically sums up this video already. This is the terrifying part and the fun part is the wholesome memes at the end. Hey ladies, how's it going? You're single because Cause you want love like this, yet you go after guys like this instead of a guy like this and end up like this, leaving good guys like this and those guys like this. <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm sure they're joking. Maybe they're not, but like, I'm gonna pretend that they are anyway. What do you want? I can't believe you started dating so-and-so. Break up with him. I'm better. <laughs> Anybody who says that probably isn't better. Oh my god, what a home wrecker. Bitch, what the hell? No, I barely know you. Of course, we work together on that one project. I know your phone number, so it would be better for you to just date me. <laughs> I could dox you. Stop ignoring me. Laughing my ass off, blocked. No, don't. Oh, they're gonna have such a beautiful relationship. Because, you know, all great relationships start by threatening the other person. Oh, what a love story. So we want to waste this opportunity? Waste what? We're so close. So let's meet. Blow down? Well, I can't today though. I'm busy this weekend. When are you free? Busy all the weekend? No time for this nice guy? I'm free when you want in the night. <laughs> yes! I may be busy during the day, but trust me, during the night time, I will see my my nice guy. Is that where it ended? Yeah, it says I unmatched after he declared that he was a nice guy. Oh, I thought that was going to be beautiful. You know, a nice guy relationship where you can provide a lot of content for this subreddit. Like a fairy tale. I want to show you something and see what you honestly think. Oh, I wonder what that could be. What? Look at my eggplant. What did you think? Have you been hacked? No, I'm a little intoxicated, but I thought you might like it. I don't think any girl has ever enjoyed those kind of videos or pictures ever. You're right. If you were up and lonely, you would say something. I was trying to be nice. By what? Sending a picture of your dong? 
<laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm at work. I work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I haven't seen you in like 10 years. <laughs> of course. At this point, they barely even know each other. Or, you know, at least haven't talked to each other in like 10 years. <laughs> I was trying to do something nice by showing you my wiener. How dare you not enjoy it? Why does anyone like tattoos? If you're a guy, I don't really care. But I admire women for their natural beauty. When you pay some scumbag to permanently engrave random crap into your body. Engrave. <laughs> you ruin that beauty. Why would you want to look like a deteriorating wall in some ghetto that random lowlifes have scrawled graffiti onto? <laughs> Oh, I'm a traditional male interested in only traditional females. The top comment says, Because it keeps guys like you away. Yeah, like I understand you're not interested in tattoos. But to go to the extent of saying this and saying that the tattoo artist is a scumbag and you're not going to look like a deteriorating wall in a ghetto that some random lowlifes have scrawled graffiti onto. How is that so hard to be okay with? And would you be okay exchanging face pictures? Yeah, several low and no, sorry. I don't really share pictures on here. I've quit most social media in general. That's cool. Are you okay talking about what you've done and what you're into sexually? And that sucks. Would you make an exception for me? No and no, sorry, but I feel like that'd be emotional cheating. Go to hell, C word. Well, freak you, B arch. You're a, you know what? Get off the app there. They did absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> if they're getting that upset about somebody being that polite, can you imagine how they would react to somebody that was actually rude? I don't even want to think about that. Oh, we're starting this one off with a ding-dong picture. Hey, gorgeous. Here's a quick question for you. What makes you think I really want to talk when you send a random ding-dong picture and I don't answer? Truthfully, I don't have an answer for that because it wasn't me. It was a friend of mine. <laughs> and I truly wanted to say something, but it was wrong since I gave him the opportunity of having possession of my phone. I will take the time to apologize for his actions. <laughs> Oh my god. I just have always found you stunning and I've always had a thing for you throughout the years. I'd really like to make up for my friend's actions on my phone. Very convincing. Like we've seen worse reactions I guess. But still that's pretty bad and you expect them to believe that? Oh yeah I'm sure your friend took your phone and sent you a picture of their ding dong. Nice guy. Good morning beautiful. I hope I didn't wake you up sweetheart. Her. What's poppin' slime. Nah, you're good, little broski. LMAO yeet. Yes, how to disarm a nice guy. Oh my god, no. A proper lady like you shouldn't be talking like that. <laughs> Why aren't you dating me? What I give, what I get, what I become. <laughs> oh my god, that's so incelly. Uh, no, that's not a good choice. Everybody gets their heart broken. It's a part of life. Everything will be be okay. And also, maybe you actually didn't give that many love hearts. Going through the Nice Guy subreddit after watching over 10 mafia movies and really loving the mobster look. Look how they massacred my boy. Oh yeah, you can never wear a fedora again. <laughs> I love mafia movies so much. And yeah, every time you see a cool guy in a fedora, you just think about Nice Guys. Why did they have to ruin it? Not saying if it wasn't for Nice Guys, I would wear a fedora. Dora. I definitely wouldn't, but like that's not even an option anymore. Nice guy HQ. What can we do to get a girlfriend? Bully her? Bribes? I don't know, treat her like a human being? <laughs> Throws him out the window. Yeah, that's so true. I don't know, treat her like a person? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? We'll do literally anything but that. That's what's so crazy about it. They'll try like every tactic and every strategy. When in reality, they just need to be a good person. When your crush tells you her sad breakup story. Ha ha ha, moi ha ha. Like, you know, oh, they're single and they're vulnerable and they could be mine now. 
well. It just screams of manipulation. And um, I guess I'm here to get an online lesson on how to deal with creeps in general. Creep is just a state of a man, just like the you-know-what complex of women. Go read about Madonna you-know-what complex. All of my life, I've been a nice guy. Never had a girl. One year of learning about women. Banged at three B-arches. Ugh. What am I then? I know how to behave with people. You certainly can't expect people to be nice guys on Tinder. You should probably not be here. I don't know who you are and what you did and honestly, I don't really care. But the fact that you're claiming yourself as the nice guy is a big red flag. And well, I did meet a few nice guys on this app. In addition to that, I'd like you to not tell me what to do. Yeah. You know what, guys? <laughs> It's that time of the video, wholesome memes time. When my friend asks for money in the time of need, best I can do is give you an interest-free loan for an indefinite period. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the best I can do is help you out. Oh, beautiful friends. I really love helping out friends when they need it though. Like, I'm sort of selfish about it. I like how I feel when I help them out. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it can't be bad. Your grandma every time you visit her. You're a big guy. <laughs> How true is that? Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, you're getting so big. <laughs> Every single time. Oh, Bob Ross. I had a man come up to me today and he said, Bob, I could never paint because I'm colorblind. So I thought today we'd do a picture in gray just to show you that anybody can paint. <laughs> Isn't he a sweetheart? Those painting videos videos are so good to watch. I saw one on TV the other day and I was like, oh yes, I will be watching every second of this. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let's do the comment of the day that goes to we nap. Chad is like the Mandela effect for neckbeards and nice guys. They've all claimed to have seen him and hate him, but he's never existed. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, like they're all just delusional or something. I don't know what it is. I swear Chad is real <laughs> and he's stealing all the women. Yeah, Chad is not real. Sorry to all the Chads out there. All right, guys, it's late at night and I'm going to bed. I don't know if that's a good idea after a nice guys video, but I'll let you know if I have any nightmares. All right, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with more fun videos. I'll see you then.